Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, are scheduled to begin a four-day tour of Colombia this Thursday, a trip that has already generated controversy and backlash. Their visit comes at the invitation of Colombia's first black vice president, Francia Marquez, who commended the Sussexes for having the remarkable opportunity to engage with elders, youth, and women representing the aspirations and voices of Colombians. Marquez further emphasized Colombia's position as a shining example of culture and innovation, enhancing the importance of the royal couple's visit. Nonetheless, the nature of this tour has sparked inquiries, considering that Harry and Meghan have stepped away from any official responsibilities within the British monarchy. They no longer carry out duties for the royal family but continue to utilize their titles for various projects, predominantly in the United States. This has prompted many to question. What gives them the authority to embark on such journeys, especially those with semi-official implications? Critics contend that the Sussex's choice to partake in this tour is filled with double standards. Colombia is often regarded as one of the world's most perilous nations, prompting warnings from both the UK and US governments about heightened risks of terrorism, kidnapping, sexual assault, and robbery. This discrepancy is particularly striking given Harry's ongoing requests for taxpayer-funded royal protection during his visits to the UK to safeguard his family. The stark contrast between his safety concerns in the UK and the couple's readiness to travel to a high-risk location like Colombia has not gone unnoticed. Additional criticism has been directed at their decision to align with the Colombian government, which has faced numerous scandals since the election of President Gustavo Petro a radical socialist and former guerrilla fighter. Petro's administration has been embroiled in claims of corruption, including the suspension of his foreign minister, accusations against his son Nicholas regarding accepting funds from drug traffickers for his father's campaign, and allegations against his brother Juan for seeking payments from jailed drug dealers in return for judicial favors. Recent claims even suggest that Petro had an affair with a transgender television personality. Vice President Francia Marquez, who extended the invitation to the Sussexes, is also under fire. She has encountered mounting public frustration over perceived double standards, especially in her role as Colombia's Minister for Equality. Marquez has drawn criticism for her usage of luxury helicopters and the significant amount spent on her new residence, moving away from her official home. Opposition figure Miguel Polo Polo did not hold back his criticism on social media labeling Marquez the biggest fraud in our black community, accusing her of achieving little in her two years in office other than playing the victim and traveling in helicopters. For many, the most concerning element of this tour is what it signifies for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. There is a rising apprehension that the couple is attempting to establish themselves as a competing royal family on the international scene, relishing the benefits associated with their titles while neglecting any responsibilities to the British crown. This emerging situation is seen as unacceptable and untenable, leading to increased calls for King Charles III to revoke the couple's titles. Numerous individuals feel that palace officials should clarify to foreign nations that formal tour invitations should no longer be issued to Harry and Meghan, who are increasingly perceived as a greedy two-faced pair, trying to have their royal privileges while evading their obligations. We would love to hear your thoughts on this topic. Please like and comment below.